some special functions. Here you will find absolute value functions and synum functions. First of all, we shall start with absolute value function. What is absolute value function? Let us consider that y is equal to fx and fx is equal to modulus of x. This is equal to, this may be written as plus x or minus x. y is equal to mod x is equal to plus x when x is greater than or equal to 0. And y is equal to mod x, this mod x is equal to minus x when x is less than 0. Here friends, this x is greater than or equal to 0 and x is less than 0. This is actually the domain of this function. Okay. First of all, we shall draw the graph of this function. y is equal to mod x. mod x is equal to plus x or minus x. So, these are actually straight lines. So, this is say, x axis. This is y axis. Okay. So, x is greater than or equal to 0 starts from this origin and on the right side. x less than 0, this one is on the left side of x axis. And see that y is equal to x, this is only for x is greater than or equal to 0. And y is equal to x, what is the slope of this uh, straight line? This is 45 degrees. So, you have to make a straight line. Uh, it will start from the origin and uh, it will make 45 degree with the positive direction of x axis. Okay, this is y is equal to plus x. Only for x is greater than or equal to 0. And the angle is 45 degree. And another thing is y is equal to minus x. And uh, the slope is minus 1. That means angle is 135 degree with the positive direction of x axis. Yes, this angle is 135 degree made with respect to the positive direction of x axis. This is y is equal to minus of x. So friends, you see that the domain is x is greater than or equal to 0 and x is less than 0 means domain is the domain of this function that means mod x is r. That means minus infinity to plus infinity it is the domain of this function mod x and since this curve is above the x axis that means its range is from 0 to positive infinity okay we write range of the function mod x is 0 to positive infinity 0 closed positive infinity open because uh, the function mod x is equal to plus x when x is equal to 0 or x is more than 0. So, for this 0 is included here. Okay. So, range of x is, range of mod x is closed interval 0 to open positive infinity. Now, we shall see the sinum function. Friends, what is sinum function? This is the second special function sinum function okay why denoted by y is equal to s g n x okay so it is defined as y is equal to s g n of x that may be written as mod x by x or x by mod x this is only for x is not is equal to 0 you know the denominator cannot be 0 this is only for x is not is equal to 0 or this may be 0 when or if x is equal to 0. So, sinum of x is equal to 0 when x is not is equal to 0. So, one thing is very important in this domain x is not is equal to 0. This indicates either x is greater than 0 or x is less than 0. Okay. x is greater than 0 or x is less than 0. This indicates from this one x is not is equal to 0. Okay. Now, if you take mod x is equal to positive x. So, positive x divided by x is equal to 1. So, this is 1 only for uh, x is greater than 0. And if you take x is equal to uh, minus, uh, sorry, mod x is equal to minus x. 
and uh, minus x by x is equal to minus 1 this is for x is less than 0 so you have to write minus 1 if x is less than 0 and it is uh, given that uh, sin of x is equal to 0 only when x is equal to 0 so 0 if x is equal to 0 so see the domain this this is your domain this is your domain x is greater than 0 x is equal to 0 x less than 0 that means that means this is very important that means you are taking the whole r that means minus infinity to plus positive infinity so this is x axis this one is y axis and this is your y axis uh, positive uh, i'm sorry this is the positive direction of x axis this is the negative direction of x axis and this is the positive direction of y axis similarly this is the negative direction of y axis now friend sin of, of x is equal to positive 1 only when x is greater than 0 only when x is greater than 0 this is y is equal to 1 so you have to take this point say this is 0 and this one is 1 0 comma 1 so for for x is greater than 0 y is equal to 1 so this is equal to y equal to 1 and when x is less than 0 when x is less than 0 then y is equal to minus 1 y is equal to minus 1 so this is y is equal to minus 1 and another thing is when x is equal to 0 that means at this point origin x is equal to 0 value of y is also 0 value of this function is also 0 so this is the uh, graph of sin of x now I shall ask some questions to you friends tell me what is sin of x 2 to the power x what is sin of 2 to the power x is it minus 1 it is is it 0 or is it 1 this is obviously 1 why in the last video you saw that 2 to the power x that is a to the power x is greater than 0 for all x belongs to r i discussed all of this uh, about the exponential functions so since 2 to the power x is greater than 0 this is a positive quantity so sin of any positive quantity is equal to 1 okay so sin of 2 to the power x is equal to 1. Next question to you. What is sin of x square? Is it 0 or minus 1 or 1? Obviously, it may be 0 if x is equal to 0. See that. If x is equal to 0, then 0 square means 0. So sin of 0 is equal to 0. You have this one sin of x is equal to 0 if x is equal to 0. So, sin of x squared is equal to 0 if x is equal to 0. Isn't it? Next part is, uh, this may be, this may be 1 if x is greater than 0 or x is less than 0. Because if you take x is more than 0, say 2, 2 square is equal to 4, say 3, 3 square is equal to 9, like this. So, for positive value of x square, so the positive value of x, sin of x square is equal to plus 1. Or you may take x is less than 0, say minus 3. So, minus 3 whole square is equal to plus 9. So, sin of 9 is obviously 1. So, for this, this is 0 or 1 respectively in their domains. Now, I shall ask you another question friends what is sin arm of modulus of x minus 1 this is interesting sin arm of modulus of x minus 1 friends at first we shall deduce this one sin arm of modulus x minus 1 can be written as 1 0 or minus 1. When can we write, write sin of mod x is equal to minus 1 is equal to 1? This is only for mod x minus 1 is greater than 0. And 0 can be written when this part is equal to 0. That means if mod x minus 1 is equal to 0 and 
uh, this sinum sinum of mod x minus 1 can be written minus 1 when this part is less than 0 that is mod x minus 1 is less than 0 now again we have to deduce this domain how you see that mod x minus 1 is greater than 0 means mod x is greater than 1 mod x is greater than 1 and in inequality we found that mod x uh, greater than 1 indicates either x is less than minus 1 or x is greater than 1 okay either x is less than minus 1 or x is greater than 1 and mod x is minus 1 is equal to 0 this is only for x is equal to plus minus 1 okay and next part is mod x minus 1 is less than 0 mod x minus 1 less than 0 means mod x is less than 1 and mod x less than 1 indicates you found it in the inequality minus 1 less than uh, x less than positive 1 okay so in this part you have the total domain of the function mod x minus 1 okay so see i shall draw the graph say this point is uh, minus 1 okay minus 1 this is positive 1 and x is less than minus 1 this part x is more than 1 this part x is equal to plus 1 or x is equal to minus 1 this one and that one okay and x lies between minus 1 and plus 1 this portion this portion okay so first of all you see that when x is less than minus 1 when x is less than minus 1 then sinum of this function is equal to 1 that means here you will find 1 when x is more than 1 x is more than 1 this is positive infinity this is minus infinity when x is more than 1 you have sinum of mod x minus 1 is equal to again 1 that means here also 1 okay in this zone 1 to infinity 1 the value of sinum of mod x minus 1 is equal to 1 and x is equal to 1 and x is equal to minus 1 this is 0 that means at this point you will find 0 and 0 minus 1 is 0 at the point 1 also 0 the value of the uh, sinum of mod x minus 1 is equal to 0 and in this zone minus 1 to plus 1 here minus 1 less than x less than 1 in this zone sinum of mod x minus 1 is equal to minus 1 here you will find minus 1 okay now finally I shall draw the total graph of this function sinum of mod x minus 1 okay so see this is your x-axis this is the x-axis and uh, say this is y-axis this is y-axis positive direction of y-axis this is origin this part is uh, 1 1 comma 0 this is minus 1 comma 0 okay minus 1 comma 0 and uh, this is 0 comma 1 this is 0 comma 1 and this one is 0 comma minus 1 okay this point is 0 comma minus 1 now friends sign up of sign up of mod x minus 1 is equal to 1 when mod x minus 1 is greater than 0 that means when x is less than minus 1 or x is greater than 1 x is less than minus 1 or x is more than 1 here you will find sinum of this function is equal to 1 so this is 1 okay so uh, your graph will be here like this yes this is y is equal to 1 and for x is more than 1 y is equal to y is equal to this is y that means sinum of mod x minus 1 this is equal to again 1 so this is 1 okay this is equal to 1 and at the point x is equal to positive 1 and negative 1 uh, the value of the function is 0 the sign of mod x minus 1 is equal to 0 so here you will find 0 here also 0 and finally at the uh, in this domain minus 1 to 1 minus 1 to 1 the value of sign uh, of mod x minus 1 is equal to minus 1 so this is minus 1 okay in this uh, domain uh, the value of the function is this one yes 
so ultimately we have got this domain range and the graph of the function please you go through this video again and again you will find um, the problems you have arrived earlier and I think you have understood all the facts thank you have a nice day